Bowman's Bucks and saying, hey, coming in. Remember, we made this the Brady versus Breeze battle. It turned into Brady taking advantage of what Breeze couldn't do battle. Breeze couldn't protect the ball. Three costly picks in what is rumored to be his final game. We'll have more on that in a second. As Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers capitalize fully on their turnovers, they get the win. They move on. 30 to 20 was your final. Nick, I, I, listen, all season long, you have not believed in the GOAT being as good as he was yesterday and has been during the playoffs. Is it time to admit you were wrong about Brady and the Bucks now? Yeah, so this is where we're starting. All right, so this here's the deal. This is where we're starting, my friend. Here's the deal, folks. Brady, obviously, was not the story yesterday. And he he's probably had 15 to 20 playoff games better than the one we saw yesterday. Sure. But seeing Brady juxtaposed with Breeze and seeing what? a 40-plus-year-old quarterback is supposed to look like, a la Drew Brees. Mm. And seeing Tom Brady still just ticking along, not making any huge <laughs> mistakes, in his 14th right. conference championship game, it's half maddening and half marvelous. I, think, I mean, listen, yeah. Peyton Manning retired five years ago. Eli Manning Retired last year. Philip Rivers is about to retire. Big Ben, best I can tell, took Wilds' advice, retired at halftime a week ago. And Drew Brees <laughs> on his way out. And then there's Tom, older than all of them, except for Peyton, and outlasting all of them. It's remarkable. So I, I have to give the man credit. It is remarkable that he's still out there. Now, was he great yesterday? No. Was he the big reason they won? No. But he wasn't the reason they lost. Ooh. And once again, he's in the final Ooh. four. So, like, Brandon, I... yeah. I, wow. If you'd have told me five years ago Tom Brady'd still be playing, I'd say, get out of here. And when I saw his season end right. with a pick six last year, I was like, finally, Jason is dead. They put the knife through his heart. Nope, he's reanimated in Tampa. So, yeah. yeah, I guess I was wrong because he's still playing. He's somehow still playing, Brandon. Okay, so before I get into my take, you know, and I'm going somewhere totally different. Didn't even think about going here, but I just want to respond to what you just said. After everything you just said, Nick, does this change your perspective on Tom Brady? Because it's, it's not only been this year, it's been the last five years or so that you've been yeah. saying, oh, Brady is done. <laughs> five years. We're praising yeah. LeBron James, right, for being this dude who takes care of himself and he's playing at a high level at 36. Now you have a quarterback at 43 playing at this level. And I, and I push back on you here. I push back that he had a, a big, he was a big part of the reason why they were successful yesterday. And this whole thing, before I throw it, to, throw it back to you really quickly, this whole thing of him being 43 and, and, and this him being old, well, this is what you're supposed to do. Like you go back to where in the NFL was and the NBA was 20 years ago, technology and science wasn't the same. Guys wasn't you know, eating right. Guys were smoking cigarettes in the locker room. So when you look at sure. Tom Brady at 43, this is actually, this is where the NFL player, NBA players, player, play, NBA players are supposed to be. So my question for you is, but does so, this change the yeah. perspective around Tom Brady for you? Well, listen, I, I never deny that he's the greatest quarterback, the greatest resume of all time. Like, so I, so it's not like he had something more to prove, but it does, here's the, here's what I would say to that, Brandon is the, the reason the LeBron comparisons to me have fallen short is we have seen the statistical evidence of Brady's, you know, call it mild decay over the last few years. You hadn't seen that with LeBron. And when you say other, this is where the modern athlete's supposed That's to true. be, except none of the other modern quarterbacks are there. Breeze can't throw 10 yep. yards. Rivers is done. Ben is throwing half a dozen <laughs> picks. Eli, like, oh all the guys in his in his age group are done. And he's not. That's so not I true, just think he's a, I like it. I, I, mean, I mean, I just, I got to give him credit. 
I mean, Brandon, I just, I have to give him credit. He's once again still standing. That's right. Somehow. I appreciate that. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. Wild, that's Wild. your guy. All right, well, I'll help you out here, Nick. I think the Bucks defense obviously won that game because they made the plays that the Saints defense couldn't because Tom Brady tried to give them a few plays and they opted not to catch the ball. They held Breeze, the Saints, uh, excuse me, the Bucks defense held Breeze to under 134 yards, exactly. Under. Michael Thomas had zero catches. They forced four turnovers. But here are these plays from Brady. This one, Brandon, if he gets his toe down here, Marcus Williams, this is an interception. Later in the game, Tom Brady gets another That's one right. that could have gone back for a pick six. So I say the Bucks defense won the game here because they made the plays. They forced those turnovers. They're, these are they're, Tom Brady has another one. This isn't even the one that could have gone for a pick yeah, six. Yeah, but wow. They had, so Tom Brady yeah, but wow, three. Come on, so I'm, I'm saying Tom Brady played great, but he threw for under 200 yards. I'm not, and I've loved Tom Brady, yeah. but I'm not ready to say like this was an amazing game for Tom Brady. This is all Bucks defense. So all last week I was talking about Baker Mayfield and that one interception, and we've been talking about how me and Nick got into this yeah. big argument about it. The reason why that was I was so heated about that is because everything matters in the game. That's the difference. You can turn on any game and see, you know, oh, well, this guy could have made this play or that guy should have made that play or this coach should have yeah. did that. That's why when you get out there, everything matters. So, yeah, we can show all those plays we want from Tom Brady, but the reality is those guys didn't capitalize off of his mistakes, and that's why that's they right. are going home and Tom Brady is advancing to his 14th championship game. All right, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is Drew Brees and what this means for him moving forward. Our guy Jay Glazer reporting before kickoff that Sunday would be Drew Brees' final game if the Saints lost. And you're watching video of Tom Brady and Drew Brees on the field afterwards. Mm. Just mm. having a moment to discuss. Brees didn't make any official announcement after the game. He was seen, like we said, enjoying that moment on the field with Tom Brady. Brees did say... And he's going to sit down and think about his future and that yesterday's performance, which was not great, would not impact his decision. Brandon, should Drew Brees return for one more year? No, it's it's over. It's done. I, I mean, look, first off, before I even get into it, great job, Drew Brees. I mean, phenomenal career. Broke so many records. He's going down as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, one of the greatest uh, uh, football players of all time, one of the greatest competitors of all time. I, look, I was there for a month, my last cup of tea. I sat there and saw this guy rock in the mirror back and forth, you know, for 30 minutes, just going through his game plan and his routine. This dude took the game to a whole another level. So many younger quarterbacks try to uh, mimic their games off of him. But the reality is 99% of all players don't go out on their terms. They don't. They're, this whole fairy tale story around like, you know, Ray Lewis and John Elway just doesn't happen. You're not going to be able to go out on your terms. So, you know, he'll probably go into the booth. The Saints probably need to move on at the quarterback position from Jameis Win Winston. I know he's there, but I'm looking at a guy like... starting my friend here's the deal folks Brady obviously 
was not the story yesterday. And he he's probably had 15 to 20 playoff games better than the one we saw yesterday. Sure. But seeing Brady juxtaposed with Breeze and seeing what a 40-plus-year-old quarterback is supposed to look like, a la Drew Brees, mm. and seeing Tom Brady still just ticking along not making any huge mistakes <laughs> in his 14th right. conference championship game, it's half maddening and half marvelous. I think, I mean, listen, yeah. Peyton Manning retired five years ago. Eli Manning retired last year.